Hi, it's Debbie here, and today I wanted to show you this super quick Lightroom quick tip on how you can rename your Lightroom catalog. So if you've ever had a catalog, um, or if your catalogs are all numbered, sort of Lightroom catalog one, two, three, and you'd like to give them a bit of a more sensible naming convention to organize your Lightroom so you can find things more easily, um, then I'm gonna show you how you can rename your catalogs. Um, super simple, won't mess anything up, and it's just a couple of quick steps to follow. So I tend to use a new catalog every year, and I like my catalogs to be labeled um, with the year and whether it's a client catalog or it's my own personal catalog for my family photos. So I tend to have the naming conventions of 2021 client catalog, etc. And then when I want to go back and find something, it's super easy to find old sessions if I need to. Um, because I can find them by the year rather than trying to have to remember, okay, which catalog number? Is it in number one? Is it in number four? Where is this client session? So to rename your catalog then, the first thing you want to do is open the catalog that you'd like to rename in Lightroom. And then we need to find the file path of where those catalog files are saved on your computer. So to do that, if you go to edit and catalog settings, um, so this is on a PC, and on a Mac, I think that is under, it's Lightroom, it'll say at the top here, Lightroom Classic and then Catalog Settings. So if you click on that, and then here it's gonna show you the location of where these catalog, this catalog file is saved on your computer. And to easily get to that folder, if you click on the Show button, it's gonna open up your um, computer into that folder. So this is where this catalog is saved. In here, it's in this Lightroom Catalog 5 folder. And in here, you'll see the backups, the catalog helpers, the previews, and this is the actual catalog file itself. Now, because Lightroom is open, you'll see these two um, kind of lock in LR cat files. So that just shows that Lightroom is actually open right now with this catalog open. So what you want to immediately do at this stage is go back to Lightroom and close it out. Leave this uh, window open, but go back to Lightroom, hit OK, and then just exit out of Lightroom. And um, you can back up if you do at that point. I'm just going to skip it this time. And then you'll see that those two temporary files have closed. So now you're in the folder on your computer of where this Lightroom catalog lives. And then to rename it, it's actually really easy. We're just going to right click and rename it. <laughs> um, and it's not going to do anything at all bad to your catalog. So I'm going to rename this one. Uh, for example, we're going to call it 2021 client catalog and I'm just going to put test on the end because I do have a 2021 client catalog so I'm just going to put test on the end but you can obviously call it 2021 client catalog or part A, part B, however you want to name them um, and then what you want to do is you also want to rename the previews file that goes with it so right click on this folder above um, which says Lightroom Catalog 5 previews dot LR data so we're going to right click and rename this one as well now, you only you don't want to uh, rename the previews.lr data, just the part that is the same as the catalog. So that's really important. So the catalog was originally called Lightroom Catalog 5, and that's the only part we're going to rename. So just highlight that part and rename it the same thing. So 2021 Client Catalog, and make sure that you're using the exact same naming convention. So I'm putting capitals in the same places. Um, and leave a space and leave that previews.lr data and just hit enter. Um, and do the same with the helper folder as well. So I'm going to right click on this helper folder and rename it to, again, only the part that is the catalog name that matches the catalog name. So 2021 client catalog test. And there's a space and then it's helper.lr data. So I'm going to just hit enter on that. And then I also like to just go up a level. So I'm just going to use the navigation up here to go up a level. And I'd like to rename the folder that this is all in as well. So the folder this catalog is in is going to get the same name, 2021 Client Catalog Test. And if you have it in multiple folder structures, which I do, I'm going to do the same again. So all the way up to the top Lightroom folder. So this is going to be called 2021 client catalog test. So this is my main Lightroom folder here with all of my catalogs and these are my kind of renamed ones here. So once you have done that and you've renamed your catalog and the folders 
uh, sorry, your catalog and your helper and previews folders as well. Um, and if you've gone up that one level and renamed the folder that it's in all the way up to this Lightroom folder here, then the next thing you want to do is you want to open Lightroom again. So we're going to just click on Lightroom to open it up. So then it's going to tell you that Lightroom catalog can't be found. So don't panic. That's totally normal. Essentially, the last time we used Lightroom was with the catalog when it was called Lightroom catalog five. And now it has a different name. Lightroom doesn't know where the catalog is anymore. So what we want to do is open um, Lightroom by choosing a different catalog first. So we're going to hit choose a different catalog and then you can go ahead and select any other recent one that you've used. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and use this 2021 family catalog um, and just hit open and then that's going to open up Lightroom with my family catalog instead. So once it opens up then with my 2021 family catalog then all I want to do is I want to navigate back into the Lightroom folder where um, on my computer where my catalogs are. So I'm going to again hit edit and catalog settings um, and show and that's going to take me back into my Lightroom folder again. So this is the 2021 family catalog but I can jump up a level to that Lightroom folder and find my new folder that I just renamed. So 2021 client catalog test. So I'm going to go into that and here's my renamed catalog and I'm going to double click to open. So it's then going to say to me, do you want to relaunch Lightroom with this catalog? So in order to use this one, it's going to have to close the current one and relaunch, which is exactly what I want to do. So I'm going to say, yes, I want to relaunch. And then if you, depending on how you've got your backup set, I do have mine set to back up every time Lightroom exits. You can go ahead and back up this open catalog if you want to, but I'm just going to skip it this time. And what that's going to do, Lightroom is going to close down and it's going to reopen with our catalog that has been renamed. So our catalog that was Lightroom catalog five that we changed the name to 2021 client catalog test is now opened up in Lightroom again. And nothing in this catalog has changed. None of your um, galleries or presets or collections or edits or any of those things have changed. You have just changed the name of the catalog. And now that we have closed it out and opened it again, now Lightroom knows this catalog and its contents and its name have changed. So it now knows where that is. So you won't ever have that issue again of it not knowing and not being able to find the catalog when it opens. So the next thing you just want to do then is to make sure you've got your backup preferences set for this catalog. So if you go to edit and back into catalog settings, then you want to make sure that you set your backup here. So back up Lightroom, back up this catalog and then select your preference. So I do it. I actually back up every time Lightroom exits, but you can change that to, you know, once a day, once a week, once a month, whatever you want. Obviously don't use never, do back up your catalog. I would suggest every time it exits or once a day probably would be as happy as I would be. I don't think I would leave it to weekly or definitely not monthly. <laughs> um, so you can just set that back up and hit OK. And when the first time you exit out of this renamed catalog, when you come into it, you're going to find this message here. So I'm going to click to exit. It's going to say the backup folder has changed. So the previous backup folder was obviously in this Lightroom catalog five backups. But because we've changed all of that now, it's now going to store it in the 2021. So I'm just going to hover over this so you can see it. It's going to tell you it's storing it in the 2021 client catalog test backups folder, which is exactly where we want it to go. So you can, so this is all fine and you can just hit backup and it's going to close out Lightroom and those backups will now be in the correct backup folder. So that's the only two times you're going to get that message. Then the first time you open it up, it's obviously not going to find it. So we'll go via a different catalog and then open it. And then the first time you close it out after renaming it, it's going to tell you the backup location has changed. And um, but all those things are fine now. And so anytime you now open Lightroom with this renamed catalog, it's not going to have any issues opening it. It's going to open it fine. And anytime you close it out, it's not going to have any backup issues flagged. It's just going to do your normal backup. So that is how you rename your Lightroom catalog. If you want to rename any of them and you can go back and rename older catalogs if you want to as well. Um, and it just helps you find things and have them in a more sensible naming convention. So it is easy to find any sessions if you would like to go back and find them.